morning my lovelies and welcome to a bright and blustery Tuesday morning I had to remember what day of the week it was then uh, I hope you're all well I hope you're all looking after each other so how are we all doing? I hope we're all fine Miss Lou Miss Lou, she says good morning. She's like, yeah, whatever, Mum. So how are we bearing up under this rather strange weather? It doesn't really know what it wants to do with itself, does it? So, I haven't got anything in mind to have a ramble about. So I just thought we'd come for... A little walk up the lanes and just see if we can see or hear anything interesting. Well, we've still got bluebells popping through. Look, aren't they beautiful? Yeah, there's a whole bank of them all up here. All the bluebells are growing up through here. It's quite quite pretty. You can see them. All that river of blue there, look. Oh look, it's just it's really beautiful. All that there. We've got some very lovely buttercups all this rain we've had really made things grow pop up all very lush. And we've got lots and lots of this white stuff in. Now I'm not entirely sure what this is. I think it's cow parsley. But what I'll do is when I go home, I'll have a look um, and I'll tell you what it is in the description below. next week I have started a little flower identification book but the simple reason is when I'm out and about and I see these flowers and things and I think oh that's pretty what's that I don't always remember what I've seen, so I thought if I start a little book, um, you know, little picture in there, write down what it is, is it poisonous, can we eat it, all that, then at least then I can remember it. And it's also quite good for, you know, if you want to sort of aim for foraging um, and identify what's poisonous and what's not what herbs you can use good morning mrs blackbird so i think once i've got it going i'll do you a little video and i'll show you what i'm doing Because there's, there's lots of this stuff. I mean, this stuff here, we don't even know what this is. This is really pretty. 
But this doesn't look wild to me. This looks, this looks cultivated. But whatever it is, it's beautiful. I always find places like this enchanted. Um, was it Sunday? Saturday, Saturday, when we went through the woods um, and the last leg we walk up that lane and I said I do find it really pretty because it's all like all the branches are meeting over into the middle and it makes it quite otherworldly I keep expecting to find pixies and things popping up <laughs> I know So the top of here brings you to the top end of Stony Delph. Um, and if you go, I'm trying to get my bearing, if you go right at the end of this lane here and walk down the road, it will take you up to Polesworth. Now there's a place we need to go and visit soon, Polesworth. It is a beautiful village and it has the most beautiful abbey. I went there a couple of years ago with, with my sister um, and it was phenomenal, I really enjoyed it. So I think what we need to do is, we need to pick a day where I'm not doing anything and have a little wander up to Polesworth and I'll try and do a little piece about the history of the village it's an interesting lump of stone it's always been there that has I don't know what it's for it's a boundary marker I don't know There is a very lovely lady on YouTube who goes by the name of Colette and her and her dog Jack live in Southern Ireland I do believe and she has a YouTube page called and a Facebook page called she pronounces it Bealtaine Cottage, but it's Beltane Cottage. And basically it's her life of turning three acres of land and the cottage that she lives in into a wildlife haven. Um, she calls it goddess permaculture. Um, everything she's done on that land, she's done herself. It went from being a boggy, rushy, three acres of meadow to a beautiful, beautiful woodland and gardens and it really is worth a watch. She's very eco-friendly, very passionate about the environment. Um, and her cottage is beautiful. She's got an absolutely stunningly beautiful cottage. And the three acres that she lives on is amazing. It doesn't matter what season it is, it's stunning. No, Miss Lou, this way. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put the link in the bottom for her channel. Her. 
for her Facebook page as well um, so you can all sort of pop in and have a look um, please drop by she's a very lovely lady I don't know her myself personally but she's a lovely lady and I really do enjoy watching her videos quite like it down this street there's some lovely little cottages down here and you're not far from the field across the way oh, there you go go roll in the grass so yeah please jump on and have a look see what you think she's, she's it's, a, it's a lovely it's a lovely little youtube channel Lord, nearly fell over then. Oh, somebody's burning something. So I think we'll go the other way around today. So the way we usually go. Change of scene. This field, uh, last year was it? Last year this field was a wash of red poppies. It was amazing. I've never seen anything like it before. And I, I really am hoping that this year it will do it again. Because if it does, then I'm going to take you down here. I'll bring you down when it when they're in full bloom. And you can see the absolute beauty of it. It was, it was just, it was amazing. It was, it was just absolutely beautiful. I mean, you see poppies dotted about, but I've never seen a field like it. It was really good, really amazing. If you can't hear me, I do apologise because it gets really windy up on this top field. Oh, there is a small dog. So come on, you come this way. Good girl. That's it. Watch, because the stones and stuff in here. Be careful. making my eyes run. Right lovelies, I do believe we've got a storm brewing because the wind did half picked up. So, means I've got to head over in that direction. You can just about see the top of the industrial units, that's how far I've got to go. Um, so, what we're going to do is, we're going to love and leave you and we're going to hot foot it home before the rain kicks in because I don't fancy getting wet. So lovelies, thank you for coming on a walk with me and Miss Lou. Look after yourselves. Have a very blessed Tuesday. Be kind to one another. You don't know what that person's going through. And as always, sending you much love and many blessings.